Welcome to the Unreal Engine 3 technical demonstration, brought to you by Epic Games and NVIDIA. Unreal Engine 3 uses a per-pixel lighting model, which allows for advanced effects like high dynamic range lighting, as you can see on this fountain. Assets in this scene were constructed in three steps. First, we build a very detailed high-resolution mesh. Then, we build a low-resolution version of that mesh. Finally, our mesh processing tool then compares the two models and stores the difference in a normal map texture. The engine then draws the low-res asset with this normal map, giving the impression that we're displaying its high-poly counterpart in real time. This allows display of immensely detailed worlds at excellent frame rates. The scene you're seeing here is around a million polygons of total in-game assets, which came from about 200 million polygons of source art. Now we'll take a look at some of the new lighting features in Unreal Engine 3. This light, for example, has a cowling that casts soft shadows on the scene around it. This is accomplished using a light function. In this case, the function takes two cube maps, one very crisp and the other blurred, and interpolates between them based on the distance to a surface. As the light begins to move away from the wall, the shadows will blur before fading out completely. This effect simulates area lighting. Other lighting features included in Unreal Engine 3 are height fog, demonstrated here, and virtual displacement mapping. Using virtual displacement mapping, these bricks appear to have depth, visible sides, and even grout holding them together. As demonstrated in wireframe mode, however, they're constructed from very few polygons. This flickering light is another example of a light function. Light functions allow an artist to assign materials to any light and control how that light displays within the world. In this case, it processes a simple change in brightness. Unreal Engine 3 allows total control over how objects interact with the environment. All of the objects in this scene are physically responsive in some way. They can be picked up and thrown around within the environment. The refrigerator behaves as one would expect it to, demonstrating hinges, independent contents, removable shelves, and constrained drawers. It is also possible to have flexible objects like tubes and cables, or complex hierarchies of bones, such as in a ragdoll model. These physical objects can also have lighting and material effects, and this demonstration shows objects that glow, give off light, and so on. Physical objects cast dynamic shadows, as you would expect. With the support knocked out of the way, the entire system collapses, and we can see that the light casts shadow from above as well. Complex materials are the key to next-generation graphics in games. Unreal Engine 3 gives artists complete control over powerful pixel shader 2O and 3O effects. All materials in this level were created by a level designer and required no programming whatsoever. On the right, we have an iridescent material. On the left, a complex panning material with an emissive channel. Virtual displacement mapping on this cube creates the illusion that the veins on the grill obscure each other. Viewed in wireframe, however, it's clear this detail is in the material and not the mesh. This next object demonstrates frame buffer distortion. As the camera moves around the object, the surrounding scene becomes distorted by the material. The bloom effect on this object is enabled through high dynamic range lighting. The material for the object's emissive channel is multiplied by a high value to exaggerate the effect. Here we have another lighting function, a stained glass environment that is being rotated along the cube. Because it's a light, it both attenuates and shadows realistically. The light projects on the character correctly and also soft shadows the world around him. Let's look at the character detail that can be achieved in Unreal Engine 3. This particular model is about 7,500 polygons for the low-resolution mesh and about 2 million polygons for the high-resolution mesh. Many of the smaller details in the high-res mesh, like the wrinkles around its mouth and throat, were hand-painted into the normal map. This lets artists add an extra level of detail without having to model it by hand. The wings on this character demonstrate light transmission. 
The wing material has a mask which tells it how much light to allow through to the other side. The veins in the wing membrane get darker when they block light from passing through from the other side. This is another example of a high polygon creature. This character is around 8 million polygons for the high resolution mesh and about 8500 for the low. It clearly illustrates the amount of detail possible in Unreal Engine 3 characters, both from in-game polygons and from a normal map. Now let's see some of these characters in action. Thank <laughs> you. 